Now we're going to take this rear wheel off for the first time. And I'm going to try and be more in the videos um, physically because I've started to lift weights and I'm still uh, really out of shape but sometimes um, being in the videos lends to the credence of the work. The only problem is I have to watch what I'm doing and try not to get in the way of the camera and still do the work and everything else at the same time. But let's see, let's see how I can do this. Here is, first of all, this is for gyro owners. We'll figure out what we're going to do here. You've got three bolts, damn it. That's great. You've got three bolts on this side. And you've got three bolts, which these are the ends of it, on the other side, on the two-piece rim. This is the outer piece, the inner, the inner, the other side is the inner piece. You'll have to take the, the wheel completely off the uh, motor before we can work on it. What I've done here, these are 14 millimeter bolts. I've taken a breaker bar. This is a breaker bar right here. It offers a, a tremendous amount of leverage to get uh, bolts that are naturally tight or that have been on there for 26 years. So the first thing that you want to do is to break these loose with the breaker bar while the while the no excuse me the first thing you want to do is prop up the engine right here just maybe a half inch taller than this. You notice how this this tread wear is is worn different than this one? I thought it was air pressure, but I just found out something very, very interesting. It's not air pressure. And like, I thought I had too much air pressure in it because they say use less air pressure. I use a little bit more, so I think it can go faster. That's not the case. Remember that uh, the motorcycle will, will tell you what's wrong with it. And I didn't know this because I've never taken it apart before, and I've got to get new tires for it. And so what I did was I, I broke these loose, these 14 millimeter loose right here. Then what I did is I pulled this neat little Honda cap off, which I'm going to paint that white Honda right there. I pulled that off, and what you see is your main bolt or nut that holds the engine on. So I took my 15 millimeter, put it in there. I took my breaker bar, put it on. And I was going to really reef down on it, and all of a sudden, boom, it was on there less than hand tight. This tire right here is wobbling back and forth, back and forth. That's what caused this problem. Of course, I didn't know that because I'd never, it's never been taken off. So, now I'm going to have to get myself in the picture here. The next step is to, after you get the all jacked up and your, 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 uh, 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 bolts broken. If your wheel spins on you, what you want to do is have someone come up here and grab the brake. Or what you can do to hold the, to hold the bike is to come down here on your back brake and screw that baby in as far as it'll go and those shoes will grab hold of the wheel so you can break the nuts on them. The bolts, anyway. That's one way of doing it. Then we have to let the air out. And now I'm going to see if I can get yours truly in the shot, maybe. I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, I have to do this correctly one way or another. It's, it's not set up right. God, that's got a great... I just wish I had a, an HD camera. Now with this camera, one thing I want to say about it, if I go and turn the camera off, before I could turn it off and I'd have to finalize, if I um, stop the recording for any minute, for any reason, then I have to post it as a complete deal. Anyway, let's see how that looks. And I have no idea how I look here. So, I'm old, I still got all my hair, and I'm in the video now. So I'm going to try and do this with my hands. So now what we want to do is unscrew this 15 millimeter right here. You want to put that aside somewhere. And we want to slowly pull the 
this uh, wheel off. And it doesn't want to come off for me for some reason. Huh. Here it comes. It's coming very, very slowly. But you have to remember that this hasn't been off and it's never been off. It's virgin. Never been touched. Just like that Madonna song. Like a sturgeon. I don't know what we're going to find here as far as brake or anything. We'll see. The bike was seemingly going about five miles an hour too slow. And I couldn't figure it out. Okay. Then I'm going to pick the camera up and come back and take a look at it. Now, we've got our brake shoes right here. And we've got some brake dust in the, um, in the brake drum, but there's no oil leak and there's no pitting or anything like that. So we're in good shape right there. And these will be cleaned up and readjusted. The one thing you want to look for in something like this is where your oil seal is leaking in here. You, you can't just, you can't have that done. You, you can't have that at all. So we'll go grab the camera and, and uh, see if I can do this. Like I said, I'm going to try and get more in the pictures. But I, I really like to make the, I like to make all this about my work instead of myself. I've seen where guys have gotten involved in getting themselves in the camera and you're totally you don't have no clue what they're doing because they just they have to put themselves in it. look at the close-up on that okay you can see the brake dust this is asbestos right there or that's what you get asbestosis from but remember um, with and that right there is is uh, asbestos right here see that's pure unadulterated 100% asbestos now, you can't get it from just touching it or playing with it. You, these, these were guys that used to mine this stuff, and they'd breathe it for years and years and years, or they'd put it in ships uh, for pipe insulation, things like that, and they just uh, um, they developed it over the years. It's probably not good to play around with, but asbestos is the part is part of brakes. They get hot and they disintegrate little by little. That's what they do. All right, now I'm gonna stop this and start it again and see if I can get a, a part two.